Hello, I'm Alyssa, a software dev slash creative, uh, currently working on a video game for PC. I thought it would be a good idea to start introducing myself so that people who are new here could actually know who I am and what I'm working on. And this is going to be my August planning video, but I wanted to switch up the format a little bit um, because it's always been very focused on the journal, looking at the journal, setting up the journal, and I just wanted to zoom back a little bit, zoom out, and show the life around the journal, you know, my actual thoughts and goals and sort of what, what I've been up to uh, in, in between the journaling, which I feel like is important and gives context. But don't worry, I'm still going to show you the setup for August, so stay tuned for that if that's what you're really here for. Uh, but first I want to talk a little bit about how July went. In July, I didn't have discrete goals, but I did have a set of habits that I wanted to do every day um, just to support the goals and sort of encourage uh, a healthy lifestyle around the productivity, so to speak. So the big habit was to do something on my game project every day, and then the rest of the goals were sort of centered around maintaining health and sanity as I did that work. So I'll go over the more health-focused habits first. I wanted to read, move, stretch, wash my face, and floss every day. Oh, and then also take supplements, and that went, that went well. So all of these health-focused goals I actually did really well with. Um, I missed a couple of days here and there, but for the most part, I do have like a routine uh, that is pretty consistent. So I'm really happy about that. The other habits I had were to meditate every day, clean something, keep meal costs low, and also don't spend money on things I don't need or like don't do sort of fun shopping. And I did not do as well on those habits. Um, the cleaning was probably the best out of the four. I did clean something most days and I'm gonna keep, keep that up through the end of the month. It's the 25th as I'm filming this. Um, Meditation did not go well. Uh, it takes a, a lot of mental energy to convince myself to meditate, so I just don't do it. Um, that one's gonna just be something I keep working on, and then the spending goals, I just have no... I have no excuse. I bought things I didn't need, and that's what happened. Sorry. <laughs> um, you know, it happens. Moving on, uh, I want to talk about where my game project is right now. Uh, in terms of what's done and what needs to get done. In July, I primarily worked on the AI, artificial intelligence, or to put it in other terms, the behaviors of the creatures and the enemies and everything that actually like does things in the game. So this is an auto chess game, so the players will put down units that each have their own individual strengths and weaknesses and abilities. Uh, and then when the round starts, the units will do their thing. Uh, it's not a real time strategy. It's like a you place them, they do stuff sort of strategy. So um, in July, I got a lot of those behaviors that will happen during the action phase done and it's looking really good. I got some cool effects in place for when units die or I've been thinking a lot about like the lore. I don't know that I want them to die in the way that like we would die, you know, like it's just really grim, um, but they sort of dissolve. They're sent back to, you know, the, the realm where they're summoned from. Um, and so I have this pretty sparkly dissolve effects um, for when the, the creatures die. And uh, I also just got a lot of visual updates and I got some more animations done. Um, the creatures face each other when they're fighting, which just makes it look, I don't know, it makes it look more polished that way. I refactored my AI system probably four, like just from the ground up four times uh, to make it easier to test, to make it work better with 
the multiplayer when I get to that step and just make it easier to add new behaviors to it, which it's in a really good place now. It's, it's super easy to add stuff to, uh, which is going to make some of the goals I have for August uh, go a lot faster. So at this point, I have two player units and one enemy unit that are pretty much done. Um, a couple of them need like special moves. Uh, only one of them has a special move, a tank armadillo with the shield uh, that I made, which I think just looks really cool. Oh, I'm rambling about game development. All right, back on track. So right now I have two player units and one enemy unit uh, done. They are pretty much like completely done with animations and uh, behaviors and everything. And then I also have like features that I finished in previous months, like the character customization, movement, uh, the grid that you can place the units on, all of that is done. Well, mostly done. All of that is mostly done. Um, so that's kind of where the game is at right now. So what's next? Uh, right now, as I mentioned, I just kind of have the creatures go in, they do their behaviors, and then it's done. It's all action phase. There's no planning phase. Um, there's no start and end of the battle. And so a big focus for August is to get that loop implemented. So my first goal for August is to implement phases for the game so that during a certain phase players can place down new units and then when that's over they can watch them in action and then it it cycles like that so getting that loop that structure in the game is my first goal for august my second goal for august is going to be adding two more units to the game so i have two player units one enemy as i mentioned I want to have at least two more, um, probably one player creature and one enemy creature, um, but I'm not going to decide right now, you know, I'll just see what feels right in the moment um, and go from there. But I want to add two kind of fully fleshed out units with the basic like movement animations, the behaviors that they need, the 3D model, all of that. I want to be done by the end of August. So that is goal two. Goal three is going to be getting the multiplayer kind of caught up with the game. So I want to have the behaviors correctly being communicated over multiplayer um, through the server. And then I also want to have that loop structure being supported by the multiplayer too, so that you know when there are multiple players in one game, they are in the planning phase at the same time and the action phase at the same time, and then the the behaviors play out the same for the two different um, clients' games. I have a lot of the code in place to support that, but I will need to sort of think through how I want to make sure everyone is running at the same time. Um, and also I'll probably need to do some troubleshooting for like if one of the players disconnects, what happens? I don't know. I'll need to figure out what the what the right behavior is for that and get that all in. So that is goal three. My fourth goal is to take a class in electronic music creation. I originally was going to do this much later in the year, kind of as like a last polished step for the game, but I decided I wanted to at least do the learning early. And then at that point, once I learn sort of how to do it, get get my brain thinking about what I what sort of sounds and you know what I want the game sound to be like. I can just think on it uh, and start playing with things without waiting until the end of the year basically. Um, and if anyone has any suggestions, I haven't decided yet what software I want to use for that. I know GarageBand is recommended a lot for beginners, but I would rather use my Windows computer then try to get, I have a Mac laptop, but it's, it's not something I use regularly. So I would just really rather use something that is supported on Windows. Cause that's what my, my, my everyday carry, so to speak, is a Windows computer. So uh, let me know if you're into music creation, if you have any suggestions. 
And my fifth and final goal is going to be to outline a Skillshare course. Uh, I had this in a previous month and I just didn't get to it, but I really want to make a course about character creation uh, for Unity games. So kind of what I've been doing, creating the model, rigging, animating, getting all of that imported into Unity and sort of working in that engine, uh, I want to make I want to make a course about it. Uh, because I feel like I've finally done it enough times that I feel qualified <laughs> to teach it to other people. So I want to outline the course, not actually make it in August, but just have like a good, you know, very fleshed out outline so that I can start filming videos for it and know exactly what I need to, to film. So those are my five goals for August. Now, how am I going to set up my journal to support these goals? This month is going to be really heavy on decoration because I got an idea in my head and my brain just wouldn't let go of it. So we're going to move on to the journal portion of this video. So let's go over there. So the inspiration for this journal setup is that I watched Bo Burnham's Inside a couple weeks ago and honestly it's a masterpiece and it has consumed me. I can't stop thinking about it. It's deep and funny and emotional and best of all, the music is just fantastic. Absolute bangers every song. So I'm gonna do a big spread featuring a quote that's been going around in my mind. Uh, Apathy is a tragedy and boredom is a crime. This is a recurring lyric from Welcome to the Internet. Uh, but I like it even better in the song Goodbye, where it kind of ties the whole special together. It kind of like punches you in the gut. Oh, it was such a good, good special. I should watch it again. For this quote, I'm using a waterproof brush pen to draw the quote in first, letting it dry completely uh, because these pens are, as I said, waterproof, uh, but only if you wait until they're completely dry. And then I'm going to paint over with watercolor. I wanted a nice bold background, um, kind of to match the very bold, bright colors that Bo used for lighting in a lot of his scenes. The lighting is really good too. It's just really good all around. Now, because I am naturally resistant to cover pages that don't have any function, I'm also going to include a list of goals on the right side of this spread underneath a headline, what am I even doing? Because I feel like that uh, both describes the page and also fits with the existential vibes that I'm going for with this setup. So here I'm writing in my five goals that I talked about in the preamble with a small checkbox for each one. Very simple, very beautiful, very bright. I love it. And I did just use my my typical color scheme, the orange and the purple. I just think this looks so nice together, like a big vibrant sunset. So that's going to be all for the first spread. I'm going to do one more spread, uh, which is going to be very similar to last month. I want to do a habit tracker and also a game development log. And because the first spread was so much um, paint, you know, paint on the entire page. I want this one to be a lot simpler, both just to get this done quickly and also to avoid burning out my eyeballs. Um, so instead of painting the whole page, I'm just going to paint the top and I'm going to use the same color scheme, but going from left to right in one sort of cohesive gradient. My habits are going to be mostly the same as last month, but a little bit, just a little bit tweaked, a little bit trimmed down, and with one notable addition. So we have the usuals here, take supplements, move, clean, floss teeth. These are things that I've been pretty good about doing and would like to keep doing. And then I've also added, instead of reading, I want to do learn something. So I want to I want to take time to learn something every day, even if it's something small. And then I've also added draw as a habit. We'll see how this goes. I have never been very good about keeping up like a drawing practice. 
but I just would like to be a better 2D artist. I think it will help me a lot in, you know, designing things for visual spaces, like, you know, designing concepts for video games and things like that. And I think I could be good at it if I just practiced. So that's, that's what I'm gonna try to do. We'll see how it goes. We'll see. The game log is the same as last month. I really just want a place to write down what I've been working on each day, keep it at the front of my mind, inspire me to get that work in. As we approach the end of the year, maintaining that momentum is really important. And if I procrastinate now, um, it's gonna be even harder to get this done. So just focusing on encouraging that daily practice getting a little bit done each day, always moving forward. And that is my whole setup for August. I think it's beautiful. I love this quote. Um, it is kind of grim and, you know, it, it doesn't exactly mesh with the idea of producing content to be consumed online, but I just, it, it just resonated with me. So I included it here. So that's my August setup. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you like the chit chat at the beginning. I mean, if you don't like it, I'm not gonna promise to take it out, but I just, I'm trying something new and I wanna know how, how it feels from the viewer side. So let me know if you enjoyed that. I've been thinking a lot about what sort of videos I wanna make for YouTube and also just content in general you know, across my platforms on Twitch, on Instagram. So you may see some changes in the future, but I am still kind of working through it. You know, it's a process of figuring out what I want to put out there and how I want it to look and how I want it to feel. So just a little warning update, something like that. The, the, the content you see here may be changing a little bit and it's going to be okay. That's all for this video. I'm glad to see you. I'll be back soon with another video and I hope to see you there. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye bye.